Hi everybody, welcome to Cruise RX. I am Peter. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. As you know, cruise fares have been going consistently higher. It appears that the cruise lines want to make up for all the COVID losses in one fell swoop. So in this video, we wanted to give you five more ways that you can save on your next cruise. So let's go ahead and get into it. Roll the intro. Did you do it? No, when I do... Are you happy? Because we look like idiots right now. Sorry about that. So as I mentioned before, the cruise lines are trying to make up for their losses as quickly as possible. They literally have blown, blown up their pricing to do this. And there are ways that you can save money on your next cruise. And there are some steps that you can do to do that. We did a video a few weeks ago with five ways to save money. And we wanted to double down and, and, and show you five more ways. So before we get into the new ways, I thought we'd go through and show you the five previous ways to bring you up to speed. So let's go ahead and cover those. Book early. The farther out in advance you can book your cruise, the less you're going to pay. Oftentimes we book a cruise a year or more out in advance. Consider off-peak travel. When kids are in school, it's very difficult for families to travel, so the cruise lines drop their fares, and you can find typically a really good price for a cruise you're looking for. Compare pricing. Make sure you're out there shopping the cruise lines. Compare the different prices for the itinerary that you're looking for. Consider a repositioning cruise. This is a cruise where the cruise lines move their ships from one itinerary to the next. So for example, from Barcelona to Fort Lauderdale, to begin Caribbean cruises. And finally, monitor pricing. Make sure you're continually going on, rebooking your cruise to see what their fare comes in at. A lot of times it will drop and you can rebook the cruise and save yourself a lot of money. Need to interrupt this video for one second to help the YouTube algorithms. Cute Puppy, Taylor Swift, and Kansas City Chiefs. Date flexibility. If you have the ability to change your travel dates, you can save yourself a lot of money. Look for group pricing. We've traveled with up to 20 people and we're able to get significant discounts because of the size of our group. If you have friends that like to cruise, consider traveling with them. Consider an inside cabin. An inside cabin is the lowest fare available on a cruise ship and can save you a lot of money. If your cruise is less than five days, you really won't have that much time in the cabin. If it's longer than five days, then you may want to consider at least a balcony room because you will be in your cabin from time to time. Booking an excursion outside of the cruise line can be less expensive. But fair warning, if you book that type of excursion and you're late back to the ship, the ship will not wait for you. If you're late back to a ship because of an excursion you booked with them, the ship will wait for you. So that is something to keep in mind. This one may seem like a no brainer, but a lot of people only stick to one or two cruise lines. Search for promotions, continually shop and see what deals are out there because they do change daily. And like I said before, even if you've already booked a cruise and you find a promotion for a cheaper cruise and financially it makes sense, you may want to cancel your previous reservation and go with a new one. That is it for this video. We hope it helps save you some money on your next cruise. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification button so you know every time that we post a new video. We will see you in the next video. Do you put the logo up? No, when I.